Dear friend, this is such an exciting video for me to make because I'm going to share with you the true cause of myopia. And when I discovered it, my mind was blown and I'm sure your mind will be <laughs> blown as well. <laughs> well, not later. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started. If we stay with strict medical information, the current cause is seen as unknown, a combination of factors, genes, playing outside and things like that. If you look it up, you'll get all kinds of fake answers and nobody is really saying like this is the cause of myopia and I am because, you know, I got the balls to do it. <laughs> so I'm standing up and I'm saying there is definitely a very solid proof of the cause of myopia, which also opens up the possibility for curing it. Since medical professionals do not understand the cause, they also do not believe that it's something that can be cured. I think they are intertwined with each other and everybody's just stuck in uh, foreseeing people with nearsightedness, with all kinds of like crutches, you could say, you know, glasses, lenses, LASIK, they're all crutches. They're not healing you in any way and usually, actually, they make it worse. Now, here is my theory. The medical society agrees upon the fact that myopia, nearsightedness, the one that you get during your life and you can't see far anymore, is caused by the elongation of the eye. So instead of your eye being like this, it's like flattened a bit and elongated. Dr. Bayes proposed that there are six muscles, that the six muscles around your eye are responsible for um, this pressure on the eye, elongating the eye, and medical professionals have uh, not believed this to be true but they don't know whether it's true or not because they just don't understand what's going on. Now there's a really important fact that I found out. There is this thing called oculocardiac reflex, which means as much as the eye heart reflex. If you put pressure on the extraocular muscles of the eye, your heart rate lowers. It can lower 10%. It's something that all eye surgeons need to know because it's dangerous to operate on the eye, especially in elderly patients, because if the heart rate drops very fast, you know, it can lead to heart failure. This reflex is particularly strong in children. So when you're stressed out, your heartbeat is going to race, it's going to be higher. Now, if you have to be a good kid and sit still in class while you want to move, maybe you're angry or sad and you want to walk away or need to rage or cry or something like that, but you decide you want to behave in that moment, then if you discover you can put pressure, extra pressure on the muscles of your eye, your heartbeat's going to be lower and you're going to feel okay even though you're very stressed because it's mostly the heightening of the heart rate that impacts our sensation of you know being jittery and being emotional so we can self-medicate in a sense and if you become very good at it and you're doing near work you're not really noticing the effects until at one point you cannot snap out of it well anymore and you'll notice that things in the distance are starting to get blurry. As I posted earlier, uh, a lot of animals in zoos are also nearsighted. It's something that Dr. Bates had found during his research. So we're not the only ones uh, doing it this way. And fish and amphibians accommodate their sight using the muscles, the extraocular muscles of the eye. So we can use them just a little bit to create myopia and to lower our heart rate and be at rest in a stressful situation. 
I heard from someone that uh, an older person with high myopia um, needed medical help because his heart rate was too low. I've always suffered from a low heart rate as well since uh, I've become nearsighted. And now that my sight is often better, I can sometimes lie awake at night because I feel my heart beating so fast and it's something I'm not used to. It's faster than normal. It's especially on the days where I feel like I may have to take glasses off before going to bed, but I'm not wearing them because my eyesight is so improved. And yeah, I really noticed that uh, there is this link between lowering your own heart rate and being myopic. Please like this video. If you like it, leave any comment you have below and subscribe to my channel uh, to find out more about myopia and how you can improve your own vision. I hope this theory has brought you some enlightenment and is helping you in some way. Like I said, it's my own theory, but it's based on medical facts. I will post the links to the description of the Ashner Reflex below, so you can read all about it if you want to. And yeah, find some truth for yourself, right? <laughs> Have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.